It's funny, that drum beat, uh, we were on tour with uh, Explosions in the Sky, and the drummer was like, man, I've been obsessed with that drum beat since it came out. Can you, why don't you play it? And I sat down on the drum kit, and I couldn't play it. <laughs> It's like whatever I whatever I did on that, I couldn't I couldn't really get it again. Maybe if I sat down with it for long enough, but it's it's a slippery weird drum beat, you know. <laughs> he looked at me like you really you're not you're not doing a very good job of playing that. That's the beauty of it. I'm sure that, that happened a lot. Even like the very beginning of the song is I can't hear what the what the click track is, and that's why that drum feels so fucked up. It's just completely out of time. I can't hear what the click track is supposed to be doing. And I get it locked in, it's like, oh, and then the song kicks off. That was just purely an accident. We kept it all in, so. And I, I think that, I think that was coming back and the drums had just been set up for the first time to record again and I was a little bit jacked up or something. So you can see the combination of factors there, you know. I think I was still using that um, superphonic snare too. I switched snare drums like three or four times during all those recordings. Some are, some have fared better than others, I think. That's one of the better sounding snare drums is the, the thicker Ludwig, the John Bonham snare basically. That was on that and Big Old Bug, Superman, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I think it was, it was just like, we wanted something that was just had a lot of energy and was upbeat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 